Today we're going to continue on with GDP and look at the differences between nominal and real GDP. So there are two separate ways that you measure GDP. The first one is nominal GDP. And this is GDP measured at current market prices. And this there's somewhat of a problem with this because it tends to overstate the value of production because of the effects of inflation. So it makes it difficult to compare the GDP in 2011 to the GDP in the year 2000. Because of infl inflation, the prices are different, so then it's tough to determine what the gross domestic product is, the ultimate production of the country. So, to take inflation into account, we're going to look at real GDP. And this is GDP measured using a base year's prices. So, we'll, to calculate the real GDP of the year 2011, you're going to use the prices from the base year, and if we want to use our base year as the year 2000, you take the year 2000 prices and apply that to the quantity produced for the year 2011 to determine the real GDP of 2011. And essentially, it allows you to compare GDP between years. It takes price out of the GDP equation, so you don't have to worry about inflation. And real GDP is the important one, because that's what you can really compare um, various prices and years in production. So for example, let's look at the nominal GDP. Year 2000, the price of hot dogs was $1. Quantity produced is 100, so we, our nominal GDP is 100. Year 2007, the price of hot dogs um, jumped up to $2, $2, producing the same quantity of hot dogs at 100, so now we are at 200. It's just a simple price times quantity um, for just this one product. 2008 is $3, 100 hot dogs produced is 300. So that's the nominal GDP for this country that produces one product in hot dogs. We want to look at the real GDP now. Taking, not worrying about inflation or taking that into account and having kind of the base year as the sole price. So if our base year is 2006, we'll take the 2006 price for our hot dogs. So we're going to change the rest of our years that we're calculating. So now we can just focus in on the quantity to determine the GDP. So it's we look all the way across, it's 1 times 100 for all three years, so our GDP is the same. So our GDP hasn't increased or decreased for these for the next two years, versus if we were to look at nominal, we would have thought that while our GDP is really increasing, we went from 100 to 300, but if we look at real GDP, if the economy, the GDP stayed the same. When we get into the calculations of of the GDP, we're going to have to use the GDP deflator and the GDP price index. Essentially what this is is nominal GDP over real GDP times 100. And just kind of as a little side note, the deflator of the base year will always be 100. And another form of that equation is real GDP equals nominal GDP over the GDP deflator times 100. So if we look at this latte economy here, our base year is the year 2000. So if we just calculate the nominal GDP, so it's just number of lattes, so the quantity times the price is going to equal our nominal GDP. So we get those right there. If we want to determine the real GDP, remember we have to use the base year price. So we're going to times all of these quantities times the base year price of $2. Gives us our real GDP. And to find the GDP deflator, the price index, nominal over real GDP, gets times 100 gives us our GDP deflator. So that's how we're going to determine how to, various calculations to calculate GDP.